I've always loved comics. You know, that was always sort of like my, my, my fallback. And I said I wanted to do comics. And it wasn't until I got to art school and I thought about painting and I, I, I wanted to learn about color. And I remember telling one, one of my friends, I said, I want to be a combination of Neil Adams, Bob Peek, Bernie Fuchs and, uh, and uh, Robert Rauschenberg. In a weird kind of a way, it's sort of exactly what happened. I, I had like this idea of, of wanting to do certain things. I had just turned 20 um, and I was going into, and I decided I would make a portfolio of, D, of DC characters. I didn't, think my work, I didn't think I was qualified enough to get work at, at Marvel. I didn't think my work was good enough. But I saw the kind of work that was being done, you know, done in DC and I thought I had a shot. I did a portfolio of like 15 to 20 pieces in a month. Didn't have an appointment, didn't, didn't call ahead, you know, just took the train in, which was like, from where I lived, it was probably three or four hours. Went in with my brown polyester suit and my, my Eiffel Tower tie and my checkered pants and sat there in the lobby of DC waiting to get it to be seen by the art director. What I had hoped for was that they would say, come back in, you know, in a year. And I was, I, I literally sat in that lobby for like three hours um, and I wasn't gonna move. I was like, I am just gonna stay here. And I was too naive or dumb or ignorant to know, to be afraid. It was almost, almost like, I think I set my goal so low that if I get a pinup or if I get them to even look at it, they'll give me at least some feedback so that I'll, it'll give me something to, to focus on for, for when I go back to art school. Vinnie Coletta said, you know, he, lo he said, I love your stuff. And he said, I, I could hire you for a job. And I was like really, you know, surprised. But he said, you'll be out on the streets in like, you know, in, in a week or two. Because it was during what was called the, the DC implosion. So he said, let me call Neil Adams because he saw the influence. And I was like, I started to get really nervous. It's like he was like my God, you know. But Neil looked at my work and he sort of spread it out in front of, you know, on the flat files and like just started looking over it. But I was literally, you know, not only wet behind the ears, but green. I was, I was like, you know, golly gee. And they're looking at the work and Neil is talking about, you know, how styles are influenced about what, and what we do wrong defines our, 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 our styles. and. It was like this, he was holding court around my, my portfolio. And um, and I started to get like these, these butterflies, you know? Because he said, he goes, I'm gonna call shoot Jim Shooter. And I want him to see your work. And he, and he went into the other room and he came back in and he goes, here's the directions over to, to, to Marvel. So I was like sort of like this ping pong, this kid, this ping pong ball. And um, I went over to Marvel and Elliot Brown, who worked in, the, he was one of the uh, the interns at the time, he was like, because he was all set to basically just like rake me over the coals, you know, and just bust my my, my bubble and, and my ass as well, my chops. And it, then he went into the editors and he said, I think you should see this kid's work. <laughs>